One breast removed, hysterectomized, a crown of close crop, moth eaten hair, grey on a head half covered in a scarecrow sari. And I have always been a kind of auxiliary mother, semi official nanny, and baby bather in chief to a whole chain of children born to this street. Give me a bucket filled with water, a piece of soap, and an unwashed child. The dirtier the better. And the wispy half smile that plays on the good side of my face loses its unfinished look without completing itself, and I get a wicked gleam in my right eye as I start unwrapping my gift. The naughtier the better. And I am never so happy as when I have a particularly tough customer on my hands, and I whisk his nappy off. Like now, for example, soap and I, a furious, foaming boy, very wet, very angry, cradled lengthwise and face down across her spindly legs, extended jointly and straight before her. She sits on the edge of the pavement, Sari pulled up to her crotch and her instruments of torture within easy reach. A sky blue plastic mug bobbing up and down, gleaming in a bucket of water. As my grown fingers soak him, grab, ass, scrub, and knee flesh, the headlong boy nose down between my ankles, pointing skyward and stopped by my feet and restricted by my no wind shins. Is overrun with galaxies of backsliding flesh that overrun form and reform, slither up and down and wrap around the curved space of a slippery body, black as wet slate. She turns him on his flip side and face clenched, she kicks her in the crotch, starts bawling and shaking his fists at the world. But I grab both his feet with one hand, crumple his face, pull his ears, tweak his nose, probe his nostrils, pull his arm, polish his balls, play with his pencil, and hit him with three mugs full of cold water in quick succession. The water cascades down his side and sluices down her legs that form a bridge over a lengthening river of war water. Like frothing star broth that will be swallowed up by a rat hole waiting for it further downstream. <coughs> and after the flood, I lift him up in the air and set him down on solid ground, dripping wet, but still in one piece, feeling a bit like Noah. Bow-legged and tottering, he stands, supported by my adult hand, but still on his own two feet and a street-fighting man already. As the ogress stops drying him and throws a towel around him, he nods unsteadily, for he's still not quite able to stay on his feet. He looks around at the whole honking world that has masked its buildings menacingly around him. And he already knows what his reaction is going to be. He points his little water cannon at the world in general, and that's right, piss on it, boy! Shoots a long arc of piss, lusty and luminous in the morning sun! Every time, my woman, every time!